Hey guys, how's it going? It's September 12, 2019. Although in this, we're the year 2032. Anyways, I thought I'd show you guys this. I'm not going to talk too much because I don't want to lose my voice. So I'm just fueling up the uh, engine here. I've already tested this one out. This is... Um, I think it's based down under. I think it was a desert railroad of some sort, but apparently it's very big down there. Maybe Smiley, if uh, he's watching, he can tell me a little bit more about it. I'm in the middle of the night on the 25th of January right now in the simulation. The days go by a lot quicker in this, but uh, I have it on its max, so I've already uh, started everything here. Just getting ready to go. I already turned this on here, and that's my instrument panel, which this is all created uh, within this area here. I'll show you the workbench in a minute. So, I'm going to start her up. Every engine's different. Uh, it can be more complex. I just added this uh, diesel fuel in here. Uh, so it's not quite full, actually, but it emptied my uh, container, so I had a full tank that I just put into this, and it's still not enough to to get it going, so I'm gonna have to watch my uh, my fuel on this run. Cause I don't want to get stranded down there. Thirteen thousand four seventy four. We'll see. All righty. Sorry, I'm in a uh, third person view here. Screwed that up. Uh, I'm not too sure if that'll work, but I'm gonna try it. instruments on for a minute. Okay. I think I can spawn something, but I'm not positive. So I had to make an adjustment to one of these. Uh, where is it? It's in my safe now. So a guy on, online by the name of Frantic, I actually did this the other uh, earlier today. I brought it to the oil where I can buy two cents a liter oil, but unfortunately, I uh, uh, this thing wasn't working wasn't taking in the fuel. So I think I got it to work now because I already tested it in here. So hopefully this will work now. So if it doesn't, well, I'll have to wait and see, but I'm gonna give it a shot here. Looks like it spawned okay, so that's a good sign. Perfect. I'm gonna try pushing it right on if I can. I know it's cheating, but... Yep. <laughs> Makes it a lot easier than, uh, well, I know it's physically different, but 
backing up. There's a lot of power on this thing. And then it's raining just like it was the last time I tried to do this run. Okay, I gotta watch my fuel here. So I'm looking at the rear of my engine, not the rear of the train, so. So 13,450, I think, was what I'm looking at. So here we go then. Oops, something happened. Let's try that again. Not too sure what's happening here. Oh, the brake's on, that's why. Oops. Guess I'm stalling a note that way. There we go. Well, that's kilometers an hour, supposedly. And you don't want to give it full throttle. So it maxes out around 142 on this engine for some reason. But that's about as fast as I can go right there. We'll do 40%. Sounds sounds good to me. The lighthouse there. And the red lights at the back, that's the uh, shining on the t my empty tank car. I could have put an EOT on, but... Not much to see at night. There's, you know, you see some things up here, but basically we're headed to the, the Arctic. Most of this is all ocean, as you can see. But I'm heading down the line. This leads to the Arctic here, so I'm coming up to this, uh, or just passing by in there. But I'm going to try to save my voice. And yeah, this thing will shake a lot. And it doesn't derail around sharp corners. You see it shaking. Now the physics are a lot different when you get out in the water. They're a lot more realistic. The rails it just doesn't seem to uh, shake away from the rails. The only time the physics come into play is if you make an engine or a car that's too wide. It'll actually rub against this and it'll stop it from running. But as long as it has uh, contact with the rails, as far as I know, it doesn't, uh, doesn't leave. So I gotta keep a careful eye on this. I may have to buy a base up there, unfortunately. But at two cents a liter, I should be okay to uh, afford to do that. Hopefully.
got some foghorn. <laughs> no good uh, horn sounds in this. So obviously this is not a train simulator. It's not even close to a train simulator, but uh, what's cool about this is these are people creating the various displays and like everything about Stormworks is uh, somebody actually created that block for block. This wasn't the, the developers threw that in. Every every um, brick that was put in, like everything is a brick by brick basis. It's kind of like a Tetris, but then you got paint blocks as well, which can give you your logos and stuff like that. Then all the electronics, the engine in behind here. Um, this is actually using diesel fuel that there's a limited supply you have to purchase. This is why I'm going up north is I'm I'm going to uh, pick up oil very cheaply, bring it back down here. Then I have to probably get myself. I got either two ways to get it down here. The port that I was at. I can either create a um, a tank uh, transfer uh, tank to get to the uh, to down my ramp into the port area because I have my terminal and then I got my port just below. Then I'd have to get a tanker to transfer the oil to the refinery. That in return I could then buy fuel with whatever money I have left over and that's where the profit comes in. The other way I could do it is possibly creating a uh, buoy system. Um, you can have solar powered in this although you know it's limited to what you can do but I might be able to pump the uh, the uh, fuel out of uh, a storage yard or something or just a tank. There's not much, many tracks. Uh, there's not too many tracks to deal with here unfortunately. You you can't build new tracks or anything. I wish you could. That'd be a really cool thing if you could build tracks. Create the yards the way you want them type thing, but unfortunately that's part of the the world as it um, everything is preset. There is some randomization in how the islands are put, but that's about it. So this is how I passed through so far. Of course, I could, if I had a, um, a tanker ship that was powerful enough, I could probably just. Um, I could probably just use it. Uh, from the Arctic and bring it straight down. But how much fuel are you using to bring that oil down? It's, and this is where it's going to come into question. Is, is the cost reasonable or should I... Because there's also um, places I can get. There's oil... Uh, dr uh, you can buy oil s further south, but it's all about... Um, it's all about supply demand and, and, and its own market so it figures in if you're closer to the refinery um, the costs are a lot higher for the oil because there's not as much transportation cost required so it's all about getting the most efficiency out of your runs obviously bringing one tank car is probably not the most efficient use of this engine I may even go with a loss here, but I'm doing this just to see how much uh, fuel it would it would take to carry what I I'm not even going to have a tank full, to be honest. I won't be able to afford that. Actually, no, I might be able to afford that. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I can actually. I don't know how much I can afford, but we'll see about that. why I gotta watch it because well, I only got let's see 10,710 at two cents 
a leader. I don't know how big my tank is. It could be a hundred thousand liters. Yeah, it should be okay then. We'll see. I try to keep a hundred thousand in the bank. those missions. New missions come up over the course of the day and night. So that would give me money if I did in 30 minutes, which I'm not, so I'm not worried about it. These are all, anything that's green means I have enough money to buy any of those. I've already got these three islands here. That's a piece of my equipment out there. Uh, I got another one over here. here here's the um, the various oil, like, see what I mean? You can buy crude oil here for 20 cents a liter. For here you can buy it for 19 cents a liter. So it's a little further away from the refinery which is right here. So this gives me a 25 to 1 uh, ratio. Question is, is it going to be worth it? And that's where I'm going to have to figure in the calculations. The only way to do it is to try it then see how much it can carry with uh, as far as the fuel efficiency goes. Come up to an island here. Actually, I want to get this centered. Uh, can I get this centered on me? I think I can. There we go. already used a thousand uh, liters of diesel. Now the reason why I want to keep a hundred thousand is there's also a terminal at the other end which I can fuel up to head back. It'll be interesting to see if they um, improve upon the, f the the physics, but for now it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. I don't play this game for physics. As far as train physics, that is. There's a lot of other physics in this game that has its own physics, but... So I only got 46% throttle. I'm, I'm, I'm restricted to 80. It says 40 here. I'm not too sure why that number is a little different. I also have a heater. I don't need to use that right now, but once you get into the Ar Arctic biome, it starts getting cold and it'll affect your, affect your uh, avatar. So you want to have the heat on. But 
then I have to actually go out. I'll show you. Actually, I'm going to take a look right now. Put my flashlight on. So you can see in here, uh, I have thermal clothing, firefighting outfit. I think I have two of them for each crew member. And then this is part of the components, uh, so you can actually service these things. But there's my diesel fuel there if I want to take a look at it. And of course the light on there, but I don't need to worry about that just yet. I don't want to go too much further there. You can see the smoke coming out of the back. So it does model wind, uh, water, waves, all the other stuff. I don't know if there's wind resistance in this. If I'd have to fight that if I was going against stronger winds or not. But. Whoops! How the hell did that happen? I don't remember doing that. Oh, I know why. There we go. I must have hit that before I, uh, or either that or I, I don't know what happened. I guess me moving uh, on out there actually somehow triggered that. It's not supposed to. Or maybe I tried to do it when I was still in the seat. That's possible. Anyways, that was a waste of fuel, but... I figure if I get around 6,000, I might be in trouble. I'm hoping to have 7,000 left. I'm pretty sure, I think I was around that last time, but not 100% sure. You can see the rain's picking up, or hear the rain's picking up. Anyways, I'll let you enjoy the views as the sun comes up shortly, but... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do some dishes. So enjoy the views and uh, yeah, we should be hopefully pretty soon be able to get to the, uh, the facility and I'll show you the, uh, the fueling process.
forgot to tell you about lightning. <laughs> Should have warned you. See how far we're getting. You'll know we're into the Arctic biome when it starts snowing. You can also see the wind uh, movement in the air there. So it's definitely windier. Fuel. Eh, not too bad. So it lasts about 2,000. That's not bad at all, actually. There, the winds, or the rain, died down a bit. So that's good. That's the sun rising over there. I could try turning off the uh, the uh, lights to see if it helps um, cool down the generator a bit. It doesn't really. So I'll just keep them on. It doesn't take that much power, so. Besides, it looks real. It doesn't really look realistic as far. It looks realistic for a train, but it doesn't really look realistic for the backlights that are on, but that's okay.
And this is once you explore the gland. This is the current world save I'm on. I've, I've explored different Arctics before, but uh, uh, as you explore, it opens up the map. So it's each random world, you basically go out there and you explore everything. So, so there's the sun rising there. Rain picking up again. I love how it goes in and out with the rain. It is so cool. That part I like. I love the weather effects in this game. And uh, if the winds started coming up, you'd, you'd start seeing the different waves and everything. That part they do really well. This ever winding bridge is kind of silly, but the fact that they have trains in it, I think, is pretty cool. So, besides, it says the year is 2032. We'll, we'll assume trains that can stay on the track and uh, bridges that can uh, last forever. Why not? Doesn't have to be our planet either. Could be anything. But we'll assume there's oil there, and there's trains. Okay, gonna go back do the dishes. Keep an eye on this for now. Nothing really for me to do here, but let it run for a bit. We still got a little ways to go. I believe I'll be in the Arctic. I gotta cut this uh, cut this at 11 o'clock tonight, but I believe I'll get at least the fueling started by the time we get to the Arctic. I'm hoping so. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna do these dishes up and. Uh, take control once we get close, closer to the Arctic realm. Getting closer to the Arctic realm. Still got a ways to go, but once it starts snowing, you're getting in towards the the, uh, the Arctic realm here. Oh, jeez.
Okay, I'm going to turn the heater on. There we go. It'll keep me warm. Looks like the snow stopped. Still doing good. Start seeing some icebergs as well. And islands eventually. Once we get to the islands, then I gotta take good control.
Get in there. Okay, nice blizzard. shelves over there. So just to get well, so it depends on how much I'm able to haul back and how much my fuel economy will be. I still think I need to buy the island up there. So I gotta watch my money real quick carefully. Now the reason why I buy it, you buy more islands is you automatically with each island purchase you get uh, 13,500 liters of uh, diesel or or jet fuel if uh, it's an airport that you're buying. You can buy uh, fuel at the uh, refinery You could also take that fuel from the refinery and sell it to the fishing village. And get a bit of a profit. So there's there's various transport ways that you can do it. I don't think there's anything up in the Arctic to sell uh, fuel-wise. If I could take diesel back up, that'd be great. Be much more efficient. Be two-way. But unfortunately, the only way I see it doing it is bringing empties. But we'll see. I don't know how much my fuel efficiency increases uh, not having the one empty car behind me or several. I have 
to wait and see how that ties in, but... I mean, I've found that, and there's no, there's no grades with these uh, trains as well, or the curves or anything like that. I find the sweet spot for this engine on this particular trip is 40%. But um, once I have loaded oil, that's probably going to require a lot more power if I want to keep up to that speed, which means taking more fuel. I'm not too sure if that's a limited, uh, like a speed limiter or, or something. That's not allowing trains to go fast than that. From what I understand, there's jet, there's jet trains too. They actually use jet engines, and they can get in the Arctic in no time. So I imagine it has something to do with the uh, uh, the ca capacity of the uh, the trucks, but I'm not sure. halfway through morning now. Easy. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, hmm. Better get there soon. Should be there shortly. Now, I actually redid this run as I was. Uh, what had happened was I made it all the way to the Arctic with this consist, except my uh, tank wasn't working. Got got to there, started filling it up, and it wasn't working. It was, I was pretty bummed out. Hopefully, this time it'll work, but I don't know. I haven't tried it on oil yet. Sometimes there's filters that won't allow certain things, but. From what I could tell of the tank, obviously I didn't build it, but I did modify it. And that's the thing, is you can modify anything. So, I can modify this if I want to add my own stuff in here. Very easy to, you just... Right at the workbench where you spawn it, you go ahead and you uh, start uh, playing around with it. I've modified, uh, not this one, but I've modified uh, a boat that I got recently so that it had a uh, proper fuel gauge. Very easy uh, to do stuff like that. Building the whole thing is a, lot, a little bit tougher. But the mechanics are fairly simple. Um, you got cooling, you got cooling systems, you have uh, exhaust, fuel, air. Yeah, all kinds of things, like fluid ports, tanks, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the fuel tanks. You don't have oil as far as oil for the lubrication of the engine. That's not simulated, but... Lots of items here.
It's been a while. I think there's penguins up here too. They don't serve more, no purpose. Is that one right there? I can't tell. Oops. Okay. So that's the first thing here. There's a cross over here, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we're getting closer now. I take it that was lightning. Although something could have, uh... Don't tell me I get took on damage somewhere. Looks like I might have. Yeah, I did. Oh, great. Well, that'll teach me. I guess I was going so fast that I uh, actually, that, that bang noise was actually damage to my engine. So hopefully he'll survive the trip. So I guess I should have been uh, watching my speed a little bit better. It must have been shaking so much going through there that, uh... Let's see, I should have slowed down. That'll teach me. Yeah, that part there, that's all damage. How do I don't damage this thing? If I damage this, I'm, then I'm screwed. I was going much slower last time going through there. So you gotta be careful. That can be fixed in the workshop. You just bring it back in and then... Have to replace the blocks, or the blocks will replace themselves when you respawn it. But. It didn't damage anything else. Doesn't look like it has. Okay, so there's the uh, next island there. <coughs> so this will take us up to the, the refinery and. Uh, Call it a refinery, but it's actually uh, it's a place where you can uh, get oil. I'm just glad my tanks are okay. That's the refinery at the end of the line here. I should be good there. There's the uh, terminal endo there.
I might have enough fuel to get back. I just would hate to damage it again. I'll only be able to start fueling tonight. I gotta go to bed soon. Yeah, you can run through switches against yourself, I don't know. Well, I hope I didn't just blow up my engine for good, but I may have. Well, at least I'll have a, uh, we'll see. <laughs> These things are very damage prone. Oh, I damaged the other side now. Jeez. I guess you can't run into those things either. Wow. I thought you could bump into them. They're very fragile little things. Okay. I think I'm close enough. Oh, I better turn the... Uh, oh, shoot. I forgot about that. I'm getting cold. There's a reason why I had the heater on. Oh cool, the heat, uh, that's neat. We'll grab one of these, there we go. 
while I'm at it, I can shut down the battery and everything. At least I think I have to, I'm not sure about that. So I'm pretty good on fuel, but I'm still going to go to that terminal. Let me turn this off. And, uh, how's my battery? It's at one right now. I think I'm okay. Everything else is off? No, it's not. Turn the lights off. I'll keep an eye on the battery, but for now... Alright. Here we go. So this is the moment of truth. As long as this thing's intact. So if I lose that, I'd be in trouble. And this looks pretty good shape. So far all the damage has been on the front end. Yeah, this thing's a little too wide for my liking, but... Works pretty good. Okay. I do have a uh, suit on. Why isn't it not working? I was going to say it should work anyways. Okay, so we're going to pump to the hose. Now, I wish the top works, but it doesn't right now, so... So that's where I want to go over to the other side there. Wish I put one on the other side here as well, but I didn't. wasn't thinking of that. It might work. Good spot, I just have to make sure it connects here. Well, it is working now. That's good. And by the looks of it, it takes forever. Wow! Well, they make you work for your, uh, thing. You're gonna have to, uh... That's the one thing about these two is um, you fuel them up. They take they take a long time, right? So that's literally it's two dollars a liter. So it's it's that's how fast. Ugh. Notice that the refinery it's pretty it's pretty slow too. And I can show you guys here. Get up here. I don't want to jump into it, but that's all the oil starting to go in. Pretty cool. Let 
Now I'm not too sure if it goes any quicker than that, but I'll have to wait and see. Because there's a there's a um, oh, what do you call it? A giant. Uh, can't think of the word. There's a uh, giant pump inside here that might be able to pump it quicker, but I'm not positive on that. But that's okay. Oh, wait a minute, no. Two dollars a liter? Yeah. Or no, it's two cents a liter. Maybe that's why it looks like it's uh, going so slow. Two dollars a liter—that would be ridiculous. Yeah, see, it's two cents a liter, so that's how fast it's pumping. It looks like it's pumping slow, but it's actually not. It's dirt cheap. So, definitely not going to fill it up tonight. And I should have plenty of money left over. Hopefully, I'll be able to. Uh, get this guy over here with the engine. If not, I'm going to have to walk back. So what I'm looking at doing... I forget what's up that way, but this is probably the uh, terminal I'm going to get. There's, uh, there's another place where you can... Uh, there's another oil place right there or something. Another terminal here. To be honest, I don't know what one's better or one's cheaper or not. Actually, that terminal isn't even... Uh, Viable. This one is. Yeah, I definitely have to go for that. I'll just come back in there and then... And there's more stuff in here in the Arctic as well. You can get into boats and choppers, all kinds of things. Not too sure what's down this way. Hopefully there's a place I can turn my engine around, because... I thought there was a Y or a circle or a roundabout or something, but... I could be wrong. Okay. Anyways, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to save it for now. Have yourself a good night, guys. We'll talk to you later.